Volteroi Varish de Corde Iskri. Very welcome along to another video from Gun Dog and Fly, and today I'm going to show you how to tie the simplest fly in history. Um, like you all, you obviously like watching fly tying videos. I watch fly tying videos from time to time. Fascinating stuff, watching other people and the techniques that they employ, and some very talented people that can make very elaborate flies um, way beyond my ability to tie uh, ar artistic creations you could call them and there's a lot of merit in that it's very skillful and it's really nice to watch people who are very good at any art form and that includes fly tying me on the other hand I just tie flies for fishing for no other purpose than to catch fish and I have tied been time flies a long long time and I have worked out for me what works for me and most of them flies that I tie are very very simple creations they don't take long to tie you don't need a, a great level of skill some of them require a certain level of skill but the vast majority anybody who's been fly, tying flies for any even a short period of time will easily be able to manage them nothing too complicated at all and that's not taking in any sense from some of the lovely creations I watch people make on YouTube etc and there's some gifted people and today is I suppose an example of how simple fly tying can actually be this fly I'm going to show you is anybody who's never tied a fly in their life I would say can easily make this fly and go on to catch fish with it. It's a proven fish catcher. I've been catching trout with it for donkey's years and it's the simplest of all things. When I show you how it's done you'll say to yourself why do I bother tying up all those elaborate nymphs and flies and all the rest of it. This is simplicity in essence. So besides that um, I get to the tying, so-called tying, of that fly in a couple of minutes. Um, I'm going to try as well to answer a question, a very important question that I was asked. I can't remember who asked the question, but it's a very important question and I'm going to answer that today. Um, it's a, a question I've been asked quite a lot down through the years. When you're tying a fly, say, with a hackles and um, you're finishing off the fly and you've reached a point where the hackle is wrapped on and you want to then whip finish or half hitch tie off the knot but the hackle fibers are in the way is there a way of holding the hackle fibers out of the way and there is indeed and it's something I learned many many years ago and I'm going to show you how to do that as well I think it's um it's a uh, something very important but first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie the simplest fly in history one bead, one hook, put bead onto the hook. Now bead on the hook, I don't think that's beyond anybody. A three year old could do that, even a two year old. Now, wire, I'm using ultra wire in um, golden olive. You can use whatever color wire you like and I will guarantee you, no matter what colour wire you use, this fly will work. Now, it's not fly tying at all really. All I'm doing is just wrapping the wire and building a bit behind the bead just to hold it securely in place. And then in touching turns, down along the shank of the hook. Now you can tie this, this I'm size, tying this in a size 10, which would be a big size really, um, for demonstrational purposes. Now I'm going to come back up along, but you can tie this in any size. Just you're not tying a fly at all; you're just making it essentially, and it's not beyond anybody to manage this. So the wire, I'm just building a nice little taper just behind the bead, and all it is is a tapered body made of wire. In this case, like I said, olive. Now you don't need to be able to tie knots, uh, whip finish, or anything like that. All you need is a little glue. Uh, apply a little glue there, allow it to sit, and that fly will be secure, securely locked. Um, the glue will lock everything into place. 
hence no need for knots and when that dries out you have the simplest fly in history a proven fish catcher I've caught fish in numerous lakes and rivers with this simple little fly and um, it sinks like a stone it sinks very quickly because there's nothing holding it back it's just pure metal the whole thing is just metal and it works a dream so be sure to when I in brackets I say tie a few for people who um, who've never tied flies before just just do this try it and I will guarantee you you will catch fish on this right this is how we overcome the problems of uh, hackles in the way of your knot essentially so what I'm going to do I'm using a big hook here for again for demonstration purposes this is a size uh, 12 I think anyway I'm just going to tie on this hackle here and show you the problem that sometimes occurs and how to fix it so I'm just going to wrap the hackle around There we are. Now I want to tie off the hackle but some of these are in the way and if I go to tie the knot they'll get trapped and all the rest of it right. So I'm just going to, I'm able to avoid it believe most of the time. Um, clever work with the bobbin holder can get you out of trouble but there's a, the simplest way of all times is just to take the hackle out of the way and you'll notice here on, on the um, bobbin holder I have this little piece of rubber tubing and all I do is slide that up and pull it over like that and that takes all the hackles out of the way and now I can whip finish or apply varnish or if if you want to and uh, basically just takes the hackles out of the way and makes life a whole lot easier and before you cut the, the thread, just slide your little bit of rubber tube back onto the stem of the bobbin holder and Bob's your uncle. That's it, simple as. Uh, the rubber tubing, I, you can get it from, uh, well I see, I got it from, this is actually shrink tubing which I use for another purpose. Um, you can get a say electrical off ins insulation off electrical wire and um, what I use as well you can get little float rubbers there for holding on floats for a different type of fishing for float fishing so all you'll need is just a little bit of rubber and there you go problem solved so I'm glad to answer that question and uh, any more questions just uh, jump into the um, you know the section I'm talking about I always forget what it is the comment section yeah that's it so there you have it folks, simplest fly in history and the hackle problem solution. So hope you enjoyed watching the video. Um, I like making the videos, I like the response that they get. Um, if you have any further suggestions or questions, I uh, kind of got slightly off track with my complete beginners fly tying series if you like, but that question was important to answer and to show how simple fly tying actually can be was also important so shin shin uh done about the shot that's it for this round and um if you like the channel uh be sure to subscribe and hit the like button as well and if you want to really support the channel i leave a link in the description to my patreon page where any bit of support would also be appreciated so good evening or ella biggie slime august biggie eggy